Hello everyone. I am Manivan and from India. I have been developing many tiny ML prototypes for different use cases. So in this project, I have developed a tiny ML model to predict the uh, is there any failure condition in industrial machineries using Arduino Patanto H7. Let's go to the project. In my tiny ML model, uh, I have taken a different use case called predictive maintenance in industry 4.0. So as we all know, in, in most of the industries, uh, the most common uh, uh, industrial machineries will be like uh, valves, uh, fans and the pumps. So I have taken this as a uh, uh, pro problem statement, like how to identify whether is there any defect in the uh, industrial machineries. So for this, uh, I have used Arduino Potato H7. So uh, this will have the microphone inbuilt. So this could able to collect the audio samples and it could able to identify whether it's the normal or any abnormal sounds detector or not. For this project, I have used a, a simple software and uh, I have taken a data set, open source data set for this uh, uh, model. And I could able to train a model in that and I could able to achieve uh, greater than 95 percentage in most of the use cases. And finally, I have deployed that model to the Arduino. So let's say uh, what I have done here is like uh, I have taken an open source data set. Uh, it will contain the sound data sets of uh, different industrial machinery, small functioning. It will have that abnormal and normal sounds. So basically, it will have the data sets for a pump, fan and the valves. I have taken this paper like uh, they have published a paper called a sound data set for manufacturing industrial machine investigation and inspection. So this paper was published in 2019 and uh, this paper more focused on how they have collected the data sets for the industrial machinery sounds. So basically they have collected each sample as 10 seconds data and uh, they have used uh, the sampling rate will be 16 kilowatts for their product and uh, how they have calculated everything is published in these two papers. So I have taken this as an input for my uh, prototype and I have taken this data set and uh, I could able to deploy that into the Arduino Potato itself. In this paper, you could see they have used eight channel microphone arrays and they have placed the uh, microphones in between these four industrial missionaries. So ideally the distance will be like a 10 centimeter from the valves and a 50 centimeter from the fan and a 50 centimeter from the pump and 50 centimeter from the slide rail. So, so this is the spectrogram of, of each uh, data sets. So they have a unique valve, pump and fan. And also like they have taken a multiple equipment. Like let's say we have a valve. It's not, they, have, they are not even taken only for one particular type of valve. So there might be different models in valves. So they have around uh, seven models in the valve sections. So uh, each uh, folder will contain a, a unique valve model. And also the data sets will be uh, around 991 for the normal condition and 119 for the abnormal condition. So each sample will have around uh, 10 seconds data sets. So you could see that 119 into 10 seconds, that much data sets is available in this folder. So uh, for my prototype, uh, I have taken one specific model in the valve 00, pump 00 and uh, fan 00. And I could able to try and I could able to achieve a 95 percentage, greater than 95 percentage in many cases. That's how they have done the uh, data set uh, generation for this. And uh, I'm taking this as an input. So in this website, you could, uh, I have shared all these uh, links in my access page and also in my YouTube channel. So you could able to download all these uh, data sets here. So each uh, will have around uh, greater than 8 GB data sets. Okay, so uh, it's in a different decibel date and uh, once you download you could have that uh, id0 id1 id2 till id6 so each will have the different models and uh, let me show the uh, data sets downloaded so let's say for a pump you can see id0 id2 id4 id3 so when we go inside that you can see there are abnormal and normal conditions will be that so once I have downloaded that and uh, uh, I went to the edge, uh, I used an example software for training and deploying that into Arduino Potanto H7. So here what I have done uh, in a data acquisition, 
I just went to the uh, uploading existing data. I could able to choose the files here. So I could able to choose a specific or uh, a number of files here. And uh, I can uh, set it whether it's for a training or testing or it can automatically split between training and testing. So here I given the label as normal. So that's how I have uploaded the data. So once the data uploading is done, so this is the completed project. You could see uh, data uploading is almost done. Uh, you could see the data will be normal around 38 minutes and uh, abnormal 19 minutes because the data sets available have huge number of normal compared to the abnormal. So and also it is fitted to the test data. So this is the data sets we are having. And once that is done, and uh, in the create impulse section, uh, I have selected the window size is 2000 milliseconds and the window increasing will be 1000 milliseconds because in their paper they have mentioned that uh, the anomalous sound will be detected uh, with it, uh, about 1000 seconds. So I have mentioned that windows increases 1000 milliseconds there. and in the spectrogram, I have used the basic spectrogram here and uh, in the classification, I have used it in classifier, neural network classifier. And the neural network, let's go to the neural level network. Before the neural networks, you could see here the generated features. So once the features is generated, we can be able to see the normal cases and here the abnormal cases. And in the neural networks, I have used the one-dimensional conversion. So I just converted that into a reshape layer using a 65 columns. And uh, I use that uh, one-dimensional convolutional network with the polling with eight neurons, three kernel size and one layer. And here also I have used a dropout of 0.25. So 25% of neuron will be disabled in the uh, training time to increase the efficiency and also to decrease the overfitting. And also I have used a two one dimensional conventional layer. And once uh, after that, I have used a flattened layer. So then after that, I have used the dense layer of 20 neurons and dense layer of 10 neurons. So this is the neural network architecture I have used. And once the training is completed, we could be able to achieve a 98.1 accuracy here. And also the training cycles will be, the epoch will be 100 here and uh, learning rate will be 0 0.005. So this is the configuration I have done for the project and we could able to achieve 98.1% each year. And also I have done the model testing. In the model testing, I could able to achieve 96.33% and also uh, the failure cases, if you look into the failure cases, uh, sometimes like uh, uh, 10 second data, sometimes two times it will be detected that as a normal one. But I, I could suggest like even if in a, in a 10 second data, if the majority is greater than six, you could assume that is a normal one. So it can be written in our uh, application code for the direction. So that's how uh, I have generated the model. After the model is created and the uh, model is tested here successfully, then I went to the deployment section. In the deployment option, we have two choices. One is create library where you can download it as a C++ library and you can just uh, run this model and run uh, uh, in your own uh, microcontroller based on your choice and you have to write an application on top of it or else you can have the build firmware where uh, you can directly flash the bat or a dot command file into the specific microcontrollers. So in this option, I'm going to choose the build firmware where I'm going to choose Arduino Potato X7 and uh, here in the optimization they have used the Eon compiler where uh, it's an int eight one and uh, the accuracy is 96.65 and the latency is 2 milliseconds compared to the unoptimized drop. So now it's just spinning the model. Once this is done, uh, it will be downloading as a zip file. So now in the Arduino Potato X7, uh, I need to press the reset button twice and uh, once it is down, it will show uh, that LED is glowing, glowing and uh, fading out. So then I need to flash the code. <clears throat> yes. So it found the Arduino Potato H7. 
now it started the flash and bolt process so it's erasing and started flash yes so the process is completed once you get this confirmation uh, please reset the Arduino button to once again yes so once it is done and uh, you can open the terminal and please run the uh, the edge impulse run impulse command to run the model yes so now you can see that uh, the number of classes will be two such as abnormal or normal and uh, for every two seconds it's starting this uh, according so the inference time is two seconds here hope you like my project please share and subscribe to my youtube channel for many more embedded machine learning projects in different embedded boards thank you